Hello, Gino. Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? Good, good. How have you been? Uh, just working. <laughs> but it's okay. The last week I couldn't like join the, the, the classes because I have some some like family things going on in the evening, so I couldn't log on log in. Okay, okay. No problem. But now this week everything is okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Good to hear that. Yeah, we all have those situations, right? So the point is try to connect when you can. Yeah. Excellent. We got Alex here, uh, Kalena. Hello. How are you guys? Good. Very good. Excellent. We're ready for today? Yes, of course. 100%. And Gino. Hey, there you says. go. All right. Perfect. So, <laughs> Gino, Gino is, a, is a guy that uh, like a, a less word. Just sign it. Okay. Good. Oh, that, that's because I'm shy. <laughs> That's I'm just just wait till till I get like uh, uh, like I know you guys better and you you'll see that I, that that I talk like way much. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take a moment and just catch up. Make sure that you're asking a few questions to your partners and just quickly about the ideas of your weekends, your routines. Uh, your job, professions, anything that you feel like you can talk about. We're just going to make a couple of pairs right now, quickly, just to wait for everybody else and give us a chance to go ahead and get to know each other a little bit more. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Roxana, Luis, you guys ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Good Excellent. evening. Okay, there you go. We're going to go to the groups. We're going to quickly talk and then we're going to come back.
Jose Roberto, how are you? I'm good, teacher. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Good, good, good. I hear you're very quiet there. What's going on? When? All these days? Yeah. I wasn't able to, to connect. I was in uh, uh, exam periods. No, oh. exam uh, period in the university. Okay. So so it was hard to me to 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 be able. But I follow up the the I I completed my the platform. Oh, that's excellent. That's great that yeah. you're getting in there. Okay. Yes. Good. Any questions? No, it's uh the last the last part was hard, but as you said, it's 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 about time, but also it was long. It was, the texts were long, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's it's not it's not that easy. No, it's it's more about time management. This is yeah. the the biggest thing about it. It's, yes, but it's not it's not easy, but I think so. It's probably it's about reading more, like books, mm -hmm. like through the books. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you try a little bit more and you read a little bit more, you can do it. The, the difficulty, I think that for most people is just how long the exam really is because everybody say, oh, it's only a test, but it's, it's not just one section. You have many hours that you are sitting down and you have to concentrate very strongly. And this is not normal for most people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not normal. And also it's harder when you, you get distracted, distracted easy. Mm -hmm. yeah like like all of us yeah 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 mm -hmm. it, it's just one of the 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 normal things right that most people get distracted very easily and then it's just like oh i lost what am i supposed to do for the listening or what am i supposed to do this or different sections mm -hmm. uh, teacher one question what is the difference between uh toefl and what is it not toic toy i don't know I don't remember the name of the other test. Yeah, I do. TOEFL and TOEIC, or I don't remember. What's yeah. the difference? There's TOEFL, there's TOEIC, there's IELTS, there's IELTS. CASAS, there's all, all the oh. different types. It's the same. Um, it's kind of like in El Salvador. It's the same idea as uh, PAIS, Avanzo, uh, SAT. It's the same thing, only different companies. Depend who makes it, that's the name of the exam. So okay. if Cambridge okay. makes it, it's the TOEFL. If another company makes it, it's the IELTS. If another company makes it, it's the CASAS. If another company makes it, it's and then you have, depending on which company you choose, that's the company that makes it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they all serve the same function. The important is to know which one is the one that you need. All of them are academic, but not all of them are uh, for immigration purposes. Some of them are for immigration only and not for academic. And some of them are exclusively for academic and not immigration, depending on which one you're going to have. Some universities, for example, in Australia and Papua New Guinea, they in Canada, some, some of those, uh, some of the universities also accept a Duolingo. Duolingo has an exam and they also accept the Duolingo exam. So, oh. uh huh. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what you need. What is your? You have to think about what is your function, what is your purpose, mm -hmm. and then from there, then you make the decision of what is the best test for you. Okay, perfect. I did. I did Duolingo test. Ah, Kalena, you did the Duolingo test. Yes, it was so hard for me, and stressful and awful. Mm. I because you know I I say if I had this class before I take that test I think um I would have had more herramientas para contestar ese examen good tell me in English tell me in English I you know herramientas I was so stressful because I had to read many things and the time it was running and and many words I don't I didn't understand. 
So I, I, me, me clavaba en las palabras que no sabía y no puedes volver a ver ni para un lado porque te cortan el examen. O sea, yeah, 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 relax, it's so relax. hard. It, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Don't get stressed. Don't get stressed. Take it easy. 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 Take it This is what I was telling Jose Roberto. The problem maybe is not the exam. The problem is that we are not used to the format, the format of many hours of mental stress, many hours of mental concentration in one activity. You cannot get up. You cannot move around. You cannot look to the other places. You must be focused and only doing this for many hours. It is not one exercise. It's not two exercises. You have the listening, you have the reading, you have the writing, you have the speaking, you have, you have many different areas that you have to do all of them at one time. Mm -hmm. And for me, that is, I think that's the, the reason that most people have lower grades than if they just learn a little bit to concentrate and techniques to help them in the exam. Only with mm -hmm. learning how to do the exam, learning how the exam is divided, it helps you a lot in being able to give you a better idea for how to do it. Okay. Okay. I have a question with the IELTS teacher. Yes, also with the IELTS. The IELTS, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in that time, I remember uh, one academy uh, gave me a class, a class about this test. And did you take the IELTS? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I I took the IELTS, but um, my grade was a uh, uh, five, maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, don't worry. In this moment, that's what we're going to do. We are now in the listening part, right? We are in the listening. Last week we had our reading. In this moment, I'm going to share with you in the link in the chat group and we're going to have one practice reading it's a reading exam tofu practice just it's not the complete exam it's you can imagine this is one section of the reading only one reading but that way you have an idea of what you need to do and how you need to do it everybody is going to have 15 minutes we're going to do it in 15 minutes you finish you finish you're not finished you're not finished but you need to learn to manage the time. This is the biggest instrument. The time, the time, the time, you have to go fast. You have to go, you don't know the word, you don't know the word. Try to get the idea from the context. Use the other techniques. Try to find the, the skimming, the scamming. Look for the questions, look at the answers. Apply the techniques that we use in order to get it. All right? Okay, but the idea is to read each one, okay? you use the technique for you depending on what you need for the question remember depend the question depend the technique you need okay okay so right okay. now we're not going to make groups no groups you have 15 minutes go okay
Okay, everyone's finished. Yes, we're good to go. Excellent, Gino, yes. Miguel, yes. No, in my case, no. No problem, Alex, no problem. Okay, now, what is the purpose? There are two purposes for this, for this activity. One is for you to have an idea of the type of reading you're gonna have like apart from the test, but two, to get you comfortable working under stress. You have to learn to manage your own time. If you take longer in this part of the test, you have to go faster in the next part. And remember the test only is more and more and more difficult. So you cannot take longer in the first part. You have to learn to manage the time and be responsible for your time. Because if you are just, I, I want to answer, I want to answer. You're never going to continue. Imagine only 10 questions and you have the exam is 100 questions. And this was only 10 and you have many different sections for the reading. So it's not a problem, but remember it's what we learn from it. Two things, one, the type of reading and two, how to manage our time and our stress. That way we make sure how much were you missing? Were you missing the last question? Were you missing two questions? Were you missing three questions? Imagine 10 questions, that's only, if you're missing two questions, that's 20%. 20% you didn't answer. So it's, everybody is different, but just so very, that you can have it, okay guys? Okay. In the link, if you can see, there are many more exercises. If you want to practice reading test two, three, four, five, this is a resource for you to give you more opportunities when you get ready to do the exam, that way you can say, ah, okay, I have a, a few more resources. I have a few more things that I can do. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, excellent, excellent. So guys, now we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're going on to our listening practice. Now, remember for the listening, we learn many techniques also for the listening. It's not only listening like I'm watching a movie. Ah, no, we have to listen for different things and different functions. Remember, there's listening for main ideas. There's listening for specific details. There's reading the questions before we listen. There's trying to make sure that we identify what information we need. All of these help so that we can get a better listening. Let me share my screen with you. So that way we can see exactly what we're going to be doing today. Okay. This is our okay. section two, listening practice test one. So listening practice test one, what we're going to do, like always, the exam is always going to have main ideas. What is it mainly about? Why do mm -hmm. they mention some specific words? Uh, then they take quotes. Why does the professor say this? Why does the student respond this? That's the other parts, right? Similar to those, okay? And as you can see, sometimes here it's one listening, but you have two questions. Sometimes you're gonna have one listening and you're gonna have three questions or four questions. So not always, it's just one and one. As you can see here, okay. we have excerpt number eight is one audio, but you have three questions, eight, nine, and 10 about the same audio, okay? Then we have a next one, it's only one question. So always, always be prepared for different variety. Sometimes it's two, three, four, and then more in the listening. Sometimes it's five questions for one audio. So make sure you pay close attention. In this moment, now we are going to work with our partners. With your partners, you're going to complete the listening practice. Make sure that everything is clear. Ask your partners. The idea is because this is a practice, it's okay to talk. It's okay to debate. Make your decision first so that you can see how well you understood or didn't understand. But then you compare with your partner and you discuss just this, no this, because of this. You need to give a reason. Not only, ah, I think it's A, but why? What did you mm -hmm. listen that made you think that it was an A? Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's make a few groups.
Omin, I'm going to put you into the group to do that. <laughs>
We're ready? Yeah, we finished all, all, yeah. all the three. That's yeah. what I like. Yeah. That's what I like. We, are, we already started the new, the new week, but it's okay. We can Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. All right. All right. Let's take a look. That's what I like. Perfect. I said perfect. All right, so what is the, the lecture mainly about? Error A. Yes, method of evaluating outcomes. Good, pronunciation, mm -hmm. evaluating. Evaluating. Good, very good. Yeah. Number two. Letter B. Letter B. Yeah. Letter B. So how explain how costs and benefits are working out. Good. Pronunciation worked. Worked. Work. Out. Work. Good. Number three. I don't know. For us, yeah, it's eight. Eight. If you think some calls are difficult to see, letter A. Okay. We think that one too. Okay. Letter A. Letter but A. That definitely no problem. We're going to check in a moment. Number four. Oh, maybe A or B? Letter A. I think letter it's letter A. B. Letter, letter A. A. Letter A. Okay, the majority say letter A. Let's try it. Number five. Letter B. Letter B. By studying how people use money. Okay. Number six. B. B, okay. D, 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 as a dinosaur. To, to ex indicate that she needs to pay attention. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number seven. Seven. A, letter A. Okay. Encourage. Encourage, no problem. Number eight. Let us see. Okay. The Prairie School of Architecture, yeah. number nine. B. B. A and C. A and C. Okay. According to the professor, how did the Prairie School Architecture make living space? Which one would be this one? Let me see. C, B and D. Yes. Okay. Okay. Why does the professor say this, number 11? B, as a burro. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, uh huh. <laughs> Number 12. Letter T. Letter E. And number 13. Letter C. Letter C. All right, not too bad. We got, as you can see, many of you helped each other. We work together. You have great listening. All of those are correct. Look, not one of the answers are incorrect. That's the same that I hope that you do with your actual TOEFL exam, that you get all of them. This one, not so much, but number two and one. Number three, let's take a look. It seems to be an issue, didn't click anything. Did you guys have a problem with the audio? Yes. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. But we also have to think Let's try again. so that much is pretty straightforward. But we also have to think about less tangible, less visible costs and benefits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That 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 would be letter A. I don't know why it doesn't check. But yes, the correct answer would be letter A for the non-tangible items, things that are difficult to see. Did you have any questions on this part, the listening practice? No. 
question no no mm -hmm. okay that's great news so now we've had an opportunity to practice a little bit about our listening our reading right it's important all of these are the different things that you need to practice when having your exam remember what can we do from the listening? Listening is more complicated than the others. So when you take your exam, a couple of strategies. First, make sure that you are focused, that you are not distracted by thinking about other things. It doesn't matter if you have problems, situation, you need to focus in the exam. Two, try to read as many questions before you listen to them. Okay. Always you're going to have instructions. In the following exercise, please read the. in that moment, you already know the instructions. You don't have to listen to the instructions. Take the time, read ahead so that when you are listening, you already know why you are listening. It's easier for you to identify it. Okay? Okay. Those are a couple of the strategies. And of course, the other one is always try to get main ideas. Always are going to be very helpful. You don't need to listen for specific numbers unless the question says specific numbers. So now that we have a little bit more people, we are ready. We don't have enough time to do the midterm. Tomorrow we will do the midterm test. This will give us okay. a little bit about the listening, the reading, different activities that we can do, several different questions. It's not too many questions. It's only 10, it's only 12 questions. So it should be really fast, but not only do we do the midterm, also we have the opportunity to practice like today, a little bit more the reading and the listening. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right. So now I want you to take a moment and I want you to tell your partner when you plan to take the TOEFL test, why you're going to take the TOEFL test, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not planning to take the TOEFL test. And you only want to take the class for fun. He, he, he. It's fun. I like it. It's ex I don't know. Everybody's crazy, right? So <laughs> let's take a moment with our partners and discuss what is the function, why we are here taking this class, and what do we expect to do the actual test? Okay. All right.
Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for connecting today and for doing the two practice, the one for the reading and the one for the listening. I hope these two help you to remind you. Tomorrow we're going to do a quick midterm. Plus, we're going to continue practicing more listenings and more reading exercises to make sure that we are better prepared. Remember, the most important is learn to manage your time. Learn to manage the time because always, always, you're going to have questions that you don't know. Always, you're going to have vocabulary you don't know in these exams. This is absolutely. Even the native speakers, they have vocabulary that, ah, and this, but the important is learn the strategies. Okay? Okay. All right, okay, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for connecting. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Mm -hmm.